today has been nothing but trying to get my inbox and my uh, database all straight. I've been working really hard on that. However, Tanya just got back from Cakes and All Thing Yummy and she brought a cupcake. So let's go check this out. We have a candy bar cupcake that me and Tanya are going to split. She looks very excited about this. Cake and All Things Yummy. Mmm. All right. Let's uh, break into this thing. All right. Here's my half. Mm. It's very interesting. It does not, I don't know, it's tough to explain the flavors. More peanut buttery than candy bar -y. I don't know, the chocolate kind of isn't, isn't very, I don't know, I don't like the chocolate. But the peanut butter flavor, really good. And the, and the cake, portion of the cupcake, really good. So, there you go, a little cupcake tasting mid-afternoon. Earlier in the summer, we had to put Ta one of Tanya's cats to sleep, Dee Dee. Uh, she was very sick, um, so we had to put her to sleep, uh, and I buried her in the backyard. Uh, and then her other cat, Keely, got mouth cancer, and then she got sick to the point where she wasn't eating, so we had to put her to sleep. So within a month, Tanya lost both of her pets. Uh, however, both of them in the backyard, well... Tanya would like to have a little kind of pet cemetery back there now. Uh, so I, I've been procrastinating on this project and I am not allowed to do that anymore. So we're going to go finish up the pet cemetery. I already started a little bit. I kind of made a nice uh, squared out area uh, where the cats are buried. I put down the yard fabric so that uh, nothing could get and dig down and everything. So I'm going to put down a little bit more of this topsoil. After I get the topsoil down, we do have some wildflowers that we're going to plant there uh, so that uh, it kind of just looks like a natural garden, wild garden versus a uh, actual pet cemetery, just in case the next person that wants to buy this house gets freaked out because there's a cat buried there. Well, I have a couple of bags of topsoil to put down, so uh, let's uh, let's get it done. people while they're playing a pet cemetery. <laughs> That's not even <laughs> funny. <laughs> now we just gotta put the seeds in. Just some wild flowers so it doesn't really look like a pet cemetery. No, so that the butterflies and birds will come visit them. Tanya made nice little markers for Dee Dee and Keely. So we're going to put them down. I am the biggest procrastinator on the earth. So she is, Tanya's correct in calling me that. So I have another project that I'm not going to finish tonight, but I will get done here shortly, and that is the rest of the front yard. Um, I've kind of gone slack on that, so got to get that curb appeal back up, uh, but it's not going to happen tonight because we have other plans, but one task down, now it's time to find something to eat because I'm hungry. Tonight's dinner location, U.S. Sushi. 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 Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing a little hibachi tonight. So we're going to start off with a little uh, soup, ginger salad. Mm. Got my white sauce already for my hibachi chicken. Yummy. Our waiter made the joke that it's like Jimmy John's because about two minutes went by before we got our entree. So here's my hibachi chicken and vegetables. So I'm still have my salad to get to. 
that was a really good dinner. The portion was like really, really big. Couldn't finish it all. It's gonna be for lunch tomorrow. So, Tanya wants to look at kittens. No. No kittens. Just one kitten. No. Especially not that one. Oh, don't say that. Put the leftover chicken teriyaki hibachi in chicken. hibachi chicken uh, in the car while we kind of walked around Friendly Center, and Tanya's been took down the roof of the uh, <laughs> of the Jeep because get the they get the smell out. out. And I said, "What does it smell foul?" <sighs> wah, wah. <laughs> Just finished having a little uh, coffee with uh, Stephanie. It was good catching up with her. Definitely some weird conversations <laughs> on how to get rid of a dead body. Um, if you have to do that, I mean, if you kill somebody and you have to get rid of it, how would you dispose of the body? Oh Put in the comments gosh. below. We'd like to know. Um, you know, everything from pig farms to mine shafts, anything will will work. Uh, and then uh, that's going to wrap up tonight. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow.